Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to XUWC map 2. This map is by Freddy and uh, it's got slick and it's got weapons and it's got strafe. It's a pretty cool map. There are a hell of a lot of routes on this. So we're going to go through the beginner's route first and then we're going to get into some of the alterations and you'll have to mix and match and see what is fastest for you and what you can do. And that's definitely going to change throughout the week. So starting off, we're going to say it's press K to restart the map just like that. I'm going to use some strafing techniques but I'll show you where you can do it just by pressing and holding W. Right at the start, you're going to come out the gate swinging with some speed. You're going to want to come straight up here and just do a 180 round here. I'm not sure if these side paths are going to end up getting used uh, or if the end just here is going to get used to get up to them. But for starters, I think the fastest way is going to be to get up here and turn around. Now heading towards this, this blue bit here is slick, it's like ice. It's a bit tricky to wrap your head around, but you can gain some speed and um, yeah, you can gain some speed off of it. Or you can just try your best to not. Potentially you can run against the wall and get some speed like that. Coming down here, you're going to try and jump over and make your way as much up here. Otherwise, get on these stairs, which are a bit tricky. As you'll see here, you can get a bit of a sideways move on them and kind of float up them and not hit them, but they are a bit difficult. So that's your main first way. Then come around this corner. Send it all the way to the back here. We'll take a look at these ramps later. They'll take you up to the top there. Round where you see this red arrow, you need to get in the middle and you want to hit this bounce pad to give you some speed to go forwards. Now we have the grenade launcher. If you can't get across these gaps, potentially think about using it uh, because you don't want to fall down here. This is really slow, being having to go up quite a steep ramp. Then come to the back here and use whatever grenades you've got to bounce yourself up to the top. Essentially try some off of the wall. You've got eight ammo, but it uses two per shot, so you've got four grenade shots. You can go back and pick up more, but it's not going to be worth it. Then all your weapons are taken away from you here, and you want to try and hit this ramp and go straight into the finish. Otherwise, get up the stairs just there. Outside of that, uh, we're now going to go into some more of the uh, difficult technical parts of this map. So coming around here, we're going to want to get some good slick up and then potentially aim for the ant hole. Now, if you can get the ant hole, you'll go straight ahead. You'll fly over the top of all of this and land up there. That's a good way to go. The other option, that's with no up ramps. Uh, so that's going to be the, probably the fastest, fastest exit speed. The other option is you come down here, try to get a bounce and hold on to this edge here. Or your third option There's no way I'm going to be able to do the ant hole so quick. Your third option is just to land all the way down the bottom, get the ramp up here. Next thing would be to slide up that wall, which I'm going to go for a different route than that. I'm thinking that these side paths, left or right, if you can get good slick to be able to get onto them, then your left or right side path. But if you just press W while you're surfing, if you're from Counter-Strike, it's going to be difficult to not AD. But you should be able to get up them by pressing uh, W. I will manage to get up this. I promise. It's really annoying when I turn the camera on. Because I did that first time, every time. And when, ah, oh, it's easy. As long as I get decent speed out of here. Which this very much is. Then getting up here is quite easy. But yeah, you'll be able to get up. That's one way. Then another way to get up top, because there's so many routes on this, really, really is. There's so many ways to skin a cat on this map. You know, you've got three right off the start. And then you've got this one, which I reckon requires about 1,500. I'm probably not going to get it. Ooh, 1,500 and a good bounce or a little bit more to get straight up this back wall here. So gaining speed, strafing off here, get that ramp. This should be good. Up here, stick to this, go for slick and come around this corner. And now we're going to head up here. Yes, I made it. That was uh, That's quite difficult to get the spacing for at the minute. 
Then we come over here and it's down this hole and that's where you come out before with the other route. Bouncing off of here. The other one is, let's go no clip. Can I go faster? I actually think no clip is slower. No clip is slower than if I could have made the jumps. Apologies there. <laughs> Your other option for getting on that top route is if you come around here and you're not on the angle to get up there like that. You can fly around here and hit one of these up ramps up through here. Left and right the same. But yeah, now come down here and hit this ramp because you want the speed from the downhill. Coming through here, picking up our weapon, potentially do that. Uh, and then off of this wall. And then here is something I think most people should be able to do. It's getting speed at this and then sending it up. So I'm just going to head backwards. I'll be careful here because I need to get there. There we go. So yeah, you can pick up more ammo, but you can't get more than eight. Um, but yeah, I think this is something that I think most people should be able to pull off because you don't need too much speed. You just come up to the bottom of this ramp, get a double jump, shoot forwards, then shoot backwards. And then you turn around, come over this way, and we'll take a look at the end in a minute. I really ought to have had a bind for everything here. Uh, the next one that I would like to look at is this one just here, which I might need to give all. So, straight up here. Ah. So, yeah, this one's difficult. You need a double grenade, and then you'd shoot off of that wall to get going. Consider using any bonus grenades you've got if you, for say use um use this route here and you come through and you do one two then use shots off the wall there then you come down here at high speed coming through here and potentially oh you want to hit this ramp or even i'm going to get back to the end here I really should have learned how to set markers before I recorded this. <laughs> but you can see a few of the ways through the map now. So we'll try for this. There we go. Look a bit more to the centre. Here, this should be good spacing for this. Then we're going to flick our way up. Um, I'm thinking 50 seconds for a top 100 time. Then you come through here, uh, screwed that up a bit, potentially one there, one there, one to gain speed, and then one off the back wall. Now I've got no weaponry left. You do get to keep it for a very long time, but you only get four. So then the other option at the end here is to surf that and bang it into the finish. So very many routes around this map. Uh, Please do try the weapons, don't just use the stairs if you are able to try the slick. You can do uh, slick with W by just pushing into the wall quite aggressively. Or A and D by just doing that into the wall. Here, it's just about holding W. Here, looking into the ramp and going up it. Up there, getting the slick to fly off these ways. Give it a go, see what your spacing allows you to do. Can you get up here? Can you go down here? Whether coming up these ramps is going to be worth it or um, potentially you know, getting up there or whether it's just staying down and keeping this and just getting the less speed off of this ramp. Who knows what's going to be the most important thing, but using the grenades to get stay up is going to be important. Using them to gain speed is going to be important. And hopefully it's a great week and we're going to see some really interesting things. Week one has been great. I'm recording this slightly before the end of week one. Um, but yeah, kind of 45 degrees these stairs. Thank you very, very much for watching. Enjoy week two. Thank you, Freddy, for this map. I love your ant holes. Have a good week.
and I'll see you on the server.